You might have this showy flower growing in your garden, but did you also know it's growing in many laboratories? Today, we're talking about snapdragons. Let's botanize. Snapdragon, or Antorhinum magus, is a member of the Plantagenaceae. It's a commonly cultivated plant that comes in many different colors. It's known for its iconic and unique floral morphology. Because of its ease of cultivation and wide natural variation, it's been used as the lab rat of the plant world for over a century. It's been used to study many evolutionary and developmental processes from flower color and symmetry to leaf development and sexual mating systems. In fact, what's called the genetic ABC model of floral development, which tells us which genes are expressed during petal development, stamen development, and carpal development, was first identified in snapdragons. In the middle of the 20th century, another plant, Arabidopsis thaliana, a member of the Brassicaceae, or mustard family, took over as the primary lab rat of the plant world. This is primarily because of its faster generation time and much smaller genome. However, the snapdragon still remains as an important and beautiful study system to this day.